Hi guys, my name is Joe, and welcome to Media Fight Mondays. So, on my channel, the first and third Monday of every month, I take a look at a fight scene from a movie. This is a fight scene from uh, the movie Malone from 1987, and stars Burt Reynolds. And it was hard for me to dig up any background on this particular scene. Um, Bud Davis is credited as the stunt coordinator. I didn't see anyone in particular credited as a fight coordinator, so I assume that he's the brains behind this. Uh, as a bit of a setup, Malone, our titular character, played by Burt Reynolds, is a former CIA operative who's just trying to find a quiet life, and he is, he's in the country, and the local bumpkins are giving him a hard time. Big guy swings, he blocks it. Ooh. So there's a lot going on at once. That looked like a, a forearm to his arm, probably breaking it, followed by a kick to the groin, and then a backhand across the face. Double clap to the ears. Palm strike. Probably another palm strike. And another palm strike. And then he's using the environment in his favor. So that was a very brief fight scene, but I do like what we got. Again, somebody who is a CIA operative, I don't know for a fact how they are trained, but this definitely gives the impression that they are trained in, you know, very efficient fighting methods. Uh, look like some of this may have actually drawn from maybe Fairbairn era combatives. Uh, that's military combatives from World War II. Uh, W.E. Fairbairn was the, the guy behind a lot of the modern combatives movements. And he included things like claps to the ears and kicks to the groin and palm strikes. Although he preferred something called the chin jab, which went under the chin and might also curve into the eyes. We didn't see that exactly. Mr. Malone takes care of this guy very quickly every strike he throws is first of all designed to protect him he's not using a closed fist he's not going for you know the big john wayne swings he's going for palm strikes so there's less of a chance that he will injure his hand and again we see that the very first thing he does is he disables his attacker's arm followed by a a kick to the groin your mileage may vary on that but it's definitely sold in most places as being like, that's a devastating attack. The backhand was something I was a little bit curious about. Let me check that out again. It was hard for me to tell exactly what that was, whether it was an open hand or a closed fist. That's the only thing that doesn't really feel like it matches the rest of the setup. Um, but... You know, it's okay by itself. As far as, like, strikes go, it can carry a lot of power, that sort of backhanded motion. Um, that seemed to target maybe the side of the face or the temple. Uh, it didn't, again, have that same sort of uh, continuity as everything else being like a super vital debilitating strike. So... It's a little bit out of place, but it might have been used as a way to transition into the palm strikes. As far as the, the realism of the action, um, his, his opponent did a really good job of standing there and getting beat up. Um, I would say, however, the, the choice of weapons, by and large, was very good. Again, they were all, you know, clapping the ears, striking into the face. The use of the environment at the end when he throws him into the, the truck door. It is a very no-nonsense thing. The, I think the technique selection was very good. I think that one thing that might have been a bit unrealistic was the fact that dude just stood there, just got the crap kicked out of him, you know, without covering up or throwing anything back at him. Um... <clears throat> but overall for the action, I'm going to even go ahead and say A-. minus. That's a pretty high score for what I typically do, but 
I think it deserves it just based on his technique selection alone. As far as whether or not it um, it continues the story, like what kind of story does this whole fight scene tell? Again, I think it does a good job of showing, you know, our protagonist here, Mr. Malone, is no nonsense. He is trained. Um, he is not a brawler. He will strike with efficiency and effectiveness. I, I think that's sort of what this fight scene conveys. I think it does a really good job of that. So I'm going to go ahead and score that an A. So that's all I have for this week. And remember, in two weeks, I'm going to have another video out on Media Fight Mondays. Till then, I'm going to have a shorter video on Tuesday and then uh, usually a book review on Fridays. So thank you for tuning into my channel, and I hope you like this. And if you have any suggestions for specific fight scenes, I'd appreciate them. Thank you.